Hi everybody, Russell Markham here from Vectvest. Before we get going today, please note there our financial services guide. You can find it, more information on us and our given license. In addition, please note general advice only today. I'm not licensed to give you personal advice. Please speak to your financial advisor. Past forms, not guarantee of future results, forecasts, and back tests used or discussed in this presentation today are intended as a guide only, and actual results may be affected by known or unknown risks and uncertainties, and therefore may materially differ from the results ultimately achieved. With that said, let's jump into VectorVest. All right, so hopping into VectorVest here, in viewers, per watch list viewer, right? So if you're coming to viewers for the first time here, viewers, you can select it either here for watch list viewer or here if you wish. So I'll go here on the left, watch list viewer, you want to click on this one, Overview, Watch Lists, and then in here, Green Stocks. All right, so that's where you want to go. And what I'll do here is auto fit and make it all nice and neat. And you'll see here we have 37 in total. Now, we've covered this in the past on Green Stocks, but it's interesting to come in a year later and check in again. So let's do this. First and foremost, let's just get our market timing in our favor. All right, so we've seen the confirmed up signal taking place on the 29th of July, and if you go back further, slightly more aggressive signal here, our DEW signal kicked in on the 18th of July. Let's start with this one to begin with, the DEW. I know a lot of our subscribers use this timing signal in Australia. So 18th of July, 2022, let's hop back to our green stocks. Let's go back to that given date, all right? So 18th of July, so we've got our first DEW signal. I'm going to sort all the stocks, stocks here by VST to begin with, right? So let's just quick test the top five, and I'll run it through here from the 18th of July through to the 8th of August. Look at that, 8% returns. Look at the standout performer here, IGO. Remember that one, because it's going to pop up again. Let's close out of here. Let's go back to our graph. This time around, let's use our most conservative timing signal, our confirmed signal, there we go, on the 29th of July. All right, 29 July, let's do this. Let's go back to viewers, green stocks. Let's change this to the 29th of July. All right, so we're at 29 July, confirmed up. Same deal again. What we're going to do here is we're going to quick test the top five. And here we go. Look at that, 5%. Great, a great returns there. And look at the top performer again, IGO. So I think it's fair to say IGO warrants a bit further investigation. Look at that. It's of the 29th of July. It's our top fundamental and technical stock as represented by VST. It's got the best combinations of fundamentals and technicals. Let's graph this given stock here. And here we are. Look at that. Nice and undervalued. So I put on the value here. So the price there has got a fair way to go until it's fully valued up. Look at the technicals here. Really good to see this RT here breaking above one. Let's just zoom it in a tad here. So it's below one there on the 27th of July, and then on the 28th, it rockets up at 1.09. And look at that RT, it's been holding above one since. So check it as of your current date when you watch this video. Has RT held up? If it continues to power up, then expect this price to keep moving up. If you start to see RT breaking down and going below one, then you'd expect this to come off. All right, look at the earnings, the EPS earnings profile here. Brilliant set of earnings. This company is moving quickly at the moment. The earnings are growing. The technicals are turning around. And this is being helped significantly by that confirmed up signal, that the turn in the market. Look at, that, look at that. All right, so as the confirmed signal came to play, if I go back to the DEW signal here, all right, and there's the DEW signal. So Vectivist really nailed that market timing. Uh, the DEW, there was an entry point, or oh, if you're a bit more conservative, there was a potential entry point based on market timing. Now, of course, when I'm looking to go and acquire stock, not only do I want the market timing to be in my favor, but I want my fundamentals and technicals to be stacking up. IGO is a very good fundamental and technical combination currently. Per the VST score, you're seeing it here on the earnings rising, you're seeing it here on the technicals breaking out. All right. One last thing I want to leave you with here, you'll notice in this watch list there are three ETFs. If I scroll all the way to the end here, 
and I click on industry. Right, let's just click on industry to sort it again, and you'll see, if you scroll through here, uh, there is an ETF. So, right, so we're showing top 25. Let's show all. That's the way to make sure we find everything. Okay, here we go. ETFs. There are three ETFs over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all three of these ETFs. Here we go. And I'm going to click now on Quick Test Selected. Now notice here I've got this as the 29th of July. So that's our confirmed signal. So let's see. How have these ETFs performed since the 29th? Look at that. Up 3.9%. Phenomenal. And you can see here pretty uh, similar in terms of the returns. ACDC. Uh, just pipping the rest there, just taking it out. Let's go back further. So uh, the DEW signal, if I change it here to being the DEW, there we are, 18th of July. And I'll now run from 18th of July to the 8th of August, run the test. And look at that, 12.85 CLNE, uh, the clear winner there. So very good indeed. The last thing I'll leave you with here, and I'll just uh, hop over into my internet browser. So here we are. First one I've come across here, the Prime Minister of Australia website here. Albanese government passes climate change bill in the House of Representatives. It's just a formality now until it gets passed in the Senate from all the reports there from journalists. The Albanese government climate change bill 2022 has passed in the House of Representatives today. The bill will enshrine into law an emission reductions target of 43% from 2.5 levels by 2030 and net zero emissions by 2050. So you can see just how important these renewable energy projects are going to become based on the fact that this is now getting passed into law. So renewables become very important now legally. Uh, looking abroad, look in the US over here, historic climate bill to supercharge clean energy industry. The climate and energy provisions of the Democrats' Inflation Reduction Act would speed greenhouse gas cuts and put US on track to deliver a lion's share of the President Biden's target for 2030. Anyway, there's a whole lot of stuff taking place in the US now, much like Australia, to reduce carbon emissions and put into law. All right, so with that said, uh, the last thing I want to uh, cover here, well, that was supposed to be the last thing, but the last thing here is you might just want to know a little bit more about uh, these ETFs, for example. So uh, if you're interested in the ETFs, uh, then we've written on ACDC in the past. And you can go find that in the views, VectorVest views, SA viewer. And that was done on the 20th of April, 2021. All right, so that was covered very well in that essay. For the remaining two here, just to speed things up, I've got a website here open for us that I'll just uh, refer us to here. Okay, so CLNE, and uh, if I just quote here from Van Eyck, CLNE gives investors a diversified portfolio of 30 of the largest, most liquid companies involved in clean energy production and associated technology equipment globally. CLNE aims to provide investment returns before fees and other costs, which tracks the performance of the index. And it goes on to note what the index is. All right, so uh, very interesting to see there. And you can read up all uh, about it on here. Okay. Uh, and then the other one, the other ETF here, let's just close that for now. Uh, on here, beta shares. So this is uh, this one up here for beta shares, E R T H, kind of shortening the word earth aims to track the performance of an index before fees and expenses that comprises of a portfolio of up to 100 leading global companies that derive at least 50% of their revenues from products and services that help to address climate change and other environmental problems through the reduction or avoidance of CO2 emissions. This covers clean energy providers along with leading companies tackling green transport, waste management, sustainable product development and improved energy efficiency and storage. So there you go. Uh, how important is that green stocks watch list? Now, whether or not you agree or don't agree with green initiatives taking place in the marketplace, uh, with legislation kicking in, as investors, I think it's becoming more and more important to consider these green stocks. All right. Well, I hope you got a lot out of it. Until next week. Bye for now.